Hi, I'm DJ with Kite Paddle Surf and I'm here to get you going on the basics of how to select really your first wing foil board. Um, the, the basic concept for a beginner in buying a wing foil board is your weight in kilograms, which is your weight in pounds divided by 2.2. Um, but that weight in kilograms, if you add 40 to it, is your approximate volume in liters that you'll really want to start with as a total beginner in wing foiling. And I'd say even someone with quite a bit of experience in kite and kite foiling should really kind of dive all the way into a total beginner size. Um, even with someone with quite a bit of wind foiling experience will really find um, the large volume that that 70 or, or, or sorry, you know, your volume, it, it, your, your weight in kilograms plus 40 equaling your volume of your board really sets you up for success in the sport of wing foiling. And really the reason is, as a beginner, you're not efficient at getting this board off the water. And getting the board off the water kind of requires a couple skills that'll, that'll develop in your progression of wing foiling. The main thing to get the foil to generate lift is forward speed. Um, and to get that forward speed, we have to use the wing properly and a properly sized wing to generate that forward speed. So as a total beginner, basically your speed comes from placing the wing in the proper position. So if I'm going to my left, you know, it's kind of in front of me that generates the speed. Once that foil generates enough lift, then I'm gonna come off the water. As I progress in wing foiling, I'm gonna be able to pump the wing, which will give me a little bit of extra speed over that foil wing. Um, and also I will become more efficient at getting the, the board to break at surface tension and to get off the water quicker. So again, when I'm starting, you know, that weight in kilograms plus 40 is really going to allow me to generate speed efficiently with the wing and not having a ton of skill. And by doing that, we're going to be able to get the, the board to release off the oil, water and we're going to get foiling and that's how we're going to progress. So again, really as a beginner, we want to start, you know, plus 40 on your weight in kilograms. So at Kite Paddle Surf, we carry a few different lines of boards. I'm going to start off with the Slingshot Wingcraft. This is a super popular model. It's also on a very good deal right now. Um, this is a very small size, so this is for a more advanced rider. But the same features in this board are essentially stretched into the bigger version. And what you'll see in a basic wing foil board is a bottom that generally has a teeny bit of shape, which helps break the surface tension to get the thing moving. I also have beveled rails. This helps if I touch down on rail and break off. It helps from kind of bogging the board down when I do touchdowns, when I make small mistakes riding. Overall, the Slingshot is a great option to go with. The main thing to consider with this brand is where my foil tracks are mounted doesn't quite match some of the brands. Um, it's a little bit too far back for our shop favorite brand, the Armstrong Foil, but then again, our second favorite is the Phantasm series from Slingshot, and those work fantastically with this board. This board is available in a bunch of different sizes, um, from pretty advanced sizes like this 60 all the way up to a 120. And so again, that 120 would be good for someone at about 180 pounds to start, 185. Another brand that we're super excited to carry here at Kite Paddle Surf is KT. This is a brand out of Maui. Uh, kind of more of a smaller brand, but beautifully made boards. These are made um, at the Cobra factory in Thailand. So these are the top of the line construction in terms of that pop-out type construction. On this one, you'll see again our standard features of a wing foil board. The beveled edges, a little bit of shape, kind of a double concave here to get us to break the surface tension. What you'll see on the KT board is a, one, it's a very high-end box for the foil. These are actually Futures boxes, but the placement is slightly farther forward than our slingshot. Um, and a little bit bigger so we can accommodate more types of foils or more how you like to ride the board with even foot pressure, front foot or back foot pressure. These come in a, uh, about four or five sizes as well. So you can kind of pick your size, whether you're advanced or beginner and suit your 
suit your volume for your needs. Another great option is the, the Nash hovers. This is the models that we teach on. Most of us also learned on these. I myself started on a 110, moved to an 85, and now I'm on a smaller Armstrong board. These boards are very well made and priced very well. The nice thing that we really like about the Nashes is the variety of sizes, overall the durability. Um, again, our placement of the mass tracks are a little bit farther forward than Slingshot, so we can accommodate more brands of foils and styles of riding with that pressure. This one is available also in two layups. The GS series is the, the more glass in the construction. It saves you a couple hundred dollars. There's also a carbon series that's a little bit lighter. Overall, a little bit stiffer with a little bit fancier cosmetic finish. But overall, these are just great for your kind of progression series. Lots of options for foot straps. Overall, we just really like these. And this one is kind of the gem of the series. Um, this is what I ride on in a 75 liter version now. This is the bigger version. I think this is the 115. The thing you'll find with Armstrong, the weight is just beautiful. What you also see is just a little bit difference in design from the other three where we have a convex deck, or concave, sorry. So it, it does give you some references for your feet. Also a super grippy deck pad. Um, what you'll really find with this board that's also different is you can see the draining is going to go out the back very much like a racing sailboat. The handle is also a complete hole so that is also another drain hole. One of the main features of the Armstrong series that you'll also see again is the track placement. It's farther forward it's also longer this one can really accommodate pretty much any foil that you want to put on it. It'll also allow you to really change how much front foot versus back foot or even foot pressure you want while foiling. Um, just the build quality of this board is, is simply higher end than the other three brands we carry. The weight is lighter. Um, what also that you find with this board is, you know, a little bit more refined shape. This one really, even if you try and force it into the water, it deflects off the water better than the other three. Um, pricing on these is a little bit higher because of the branding, the construction. Another thing though that you do get with Armstrong is a complete bag that is custom made for each size of the board. These fit perfectly well. They're built to use with or without the mast in place. Um, Overall, you get about a $250 bag that's included with the board. The value is, is just really there with Armstrong. You know, the quality is, is just better. They're lighter. So give us a call. Send us an email or give us any questions you have about starting out and picking out your first wing foil board. I'm DJ with Kite Paddle Surf, and thank you for watching.